Amen. Yes, sir. And yet we, we wait all year. All right, yes, we do. For that time. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 See, I was a December baby. There's a whole bunch of them in here. Mm -hmm. Amen. Especially, I see somebody with, with the handle of the 26. You get birthday, Christmas, everything, all in one time. Oh, <laughs> Mama got to save something for the next day. Uh, well, I'm a Christmas. What's my birthday present? <laughs> <laughs> the gift that God has given us is worth not, more than anything you can buy in any store. Oh, Amen. Yes. Amen. And we, we know what that gift is. We, we know that's Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus came and he... He put, took all of our sin away. Okay. If you believe. All right. See, see, to open the gift, you got to believe Amen. that Jesus did that. Amen. And a lot of us are struggling today because we don't believe that God has given us the power over sin. All right. That he didn't broke that chain. That when Jesus came over 2,000 years ago, he gave you power over drugs. Hallelujah. He gave you power over alcohol. Yes. He gave you yeah. power over, over sexual immortality. He gave you yeah. power Thank over you. Yeah. bad thinking and bad words coming out of your mouth. Yeah. You have not accepted the gift. So you still walk around here without nothing. All right. Looking for something. Yeah. And you already got it. Yeah. You just have received it. Right. Amen. When you receive it, there's some things you got to do. Man. Ain't that right? That's right. right. And and, and the, the first thing you gotta go gonna do gotta do gonna surprise some of y'all. Y'all gotta give a gift back. All right, yeah. now. Amen. Okay. okay. Woo. And the only gift that you can give to Jesus is you. All right, now. Thank you. Come on, you. Amen. Yes. Problem is. Is that you giving your gift to Jesus come with some conditions? Yeah, Amen. 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 Show no. Huh? Amen. Yes. The word says unless you come as a babe. Yeah. So you can't come dragging all that mess with you. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. God don't accept gifts a mess. Thank you. So, so you gotta leave the mess back in Mama and I'm house. Amen. Right. Or, or back somewhere. You, you gotta leave the mess wherever you got it at. Amen. If you want to give yourself to Christ, you got to come clean. Yes, you Thank you. Yes, you I, I didn't say you got to get clean, did it? No. So you got to come clean. Yes, yes. You got to come clean. You got to come confessing yes. that I'm a sinner. Yeah. Hey, you got to come confessing that I'm a liar. Yeah. You got to confessing that I'm a drug head. You got to confessing that I cuss every day. You got to come confessing that I'm a, I'm a thief. You got to come confessing, and that means you got to come clean. Amen. 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 When, 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 when y'all know that term in the world, you, you got to come clean now. You can't come half step. Amen. You got to come and put it all on the table. Y'all know how we like to tell them half truths? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I ain't going to tell everything. <laughs> Then we lie on oh God. God knows my heart you do know your heart. Know that you ain't come clean. <laughs> you, you put down the fifth, but you got a half pain in your back pocket. Some of y'all got real slick and put it in a little flash. <laughs> put it in your coat pocket. <laughs> when the preacher ain't looking, you take a swig. Think you can't smell it. You got to come clean. Amen. If you wanna, if you wanna give yourself to the Lord, you gotta come with conditions. You gotta come as a babe. You gotta come without all that mess. You gotta Amen. come not knowing everything. Hey, Amen. When you know everything, can't nobody tell you Amen. nothing. Amen. So you gotta come knowing that I am a wretch and dumb, but I don't know nothing. So I need to learn how to walk right. Amen. Now, I've been walking wrong all these years. You know, until you admit that. You won't ever learn how to walk right. Amen. Till you admit that I'm a liar, you won't stop lying. Amen. You tell a lie that you're not a liar. Amen. <laughs> you got to come clean. If you want to make this gift to God, God said you belong to me, but you got to give yourself back. 
Ain't that right? Yeah. right. David, David said it better than me. He said that the only sacrifice God will accept is a broken heart and a contrite spirit. You got to come clean. You got to come not being able to depend on anything. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't say it, man. When, 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 whenever you can make up something, whenever you can make up an excuse why you ain't going to do whatever you need to do, you got you got you got crutches, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I said you got to come without a crutch. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You can drag that leg, but huh. you got to put the crutch there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. So God said, when you come to me, I'll hold you up. Yeah. Yeah. I give you the strength. Yeah. I give you new legs to walk in. You wash the towel. You got to yeah. come clean. Yeah. 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 Biggest thing in giving ourselves to Christ is we don't want to come. Because that's some stuff in our life that we don't think ain't nothing wrong with it. Y'all don't know how many times I've heard people say, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I just go gamble a little bit, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I just drink a six pack every now and then, I don't see nothing wrong with it. God did, did you see in the White Bible where God gave you options? Come on now. Where you can decide what is right and what is wrong. <laughs> The Bible tells you how God wants you to be. Amen. And you gotta come clean. Yes. And then and then when you when you get clean and you want to give yourself to Christ, you gotta come expecting to grow. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Amen. The, the, the baby, when the baby comes, the baby have to you have to eat drink milk. Yeah. Yes, sir. Ain't that right? Yeah, right. You gotta drink milk because he can't his little system won't take solid food. Amen. And if he rejects the milk, what he gonna live on? And y'all know we got different kinds of milk, don't you? Yeah. But God don't have different kinds of milk. Amen. He wants you to come with pure milk. You gotta come drinking pure milk. Amen. The pure milk of the word of God. Yeah. You can't come with no similar. Right, you, you know, some of us want to come with a word that's similar to the truth. <laughs> that's why That's why we got so many religions, they got no name on them. A lot of them come with something that's similar to the truth. And, and we flock to them things because, you know, well, they don't, they don't make me do over there, over there. Oh. Uh, there, there's so many of us today that are going places where non-traditional churches don't say it that way. Because we don't want to come clean. We don't want to conform. It don't make no difference what you wear. Ain't that right? Amen. What you put on is for God. Ain't that right? But now if you don't want to put nothing on, you can't be coming up in here. Right. You got to put on something. Amen. Ain't that right? And, 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 and when you come clean, you want to leave your bebop clothes behind. Y'all yeah. 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 hear me today. As long as you're going the same places, looking the same way, you're going to act where you always act. All right. You got to get rid of some of that stuff. Yeah. I just roll up down at the boys, you know. Yeah, that's what you did before you got saved. I just hang out with the boy. We have a few beers. Smoke a few joints, but I'm in church on Sunday. <laughs> you don't see nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Gotta hit you a toe before you come. You gotta come clean and you gotta come expecting to learn something. Now, if you're expecting to learn something, that means you're gonna give yourself to some learning, ain't you? Yes. Amen. Amen. You know, that, that when, 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 when you come clean, then you wanna put some more stuff in you. When you leave all that stuff behind, you need to put some new stuff in you, ain't that right? And, and you don't wanna take the word of just anybody. Because when you're in the world, who did you trust? trust nobody. You just like everybody. You didn't trust them though because you just like them so you knew what they would do because you knew what you were capable of. Y'all don't, don't hear me. You, 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 you know you were sitting around waiting on something to die so you could get along with it. <laughs> you, you know it. And so you didn't trust nobody. I keep my own everybody. Got, to have, I got, got a friend of mine right today, preacher. He won't sit with his back to the door. Amen. Preacher, we go eat. I gotta make sure his back he's facing the door. <laughs> and and, and, and he, he, he you know, sometimes he sit that way, but I know that he don't he don't like that. <laughs> Amen. And, and and that's just from stuff you pick up as you grow. You understand? 
Now, but don't keep you from coming because if you just hard to come to church and you can't sit with your back to the door. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It's one of the things I have. I come in, I want to sit as far in the back as I could. <laughs> Jesus is everywhere. Yes, he 